Uh, I think, number one, uh, you know I have a passion on media issues. I'm extremely worried about the future of our media because I think it impinges so directly uh, on, on the future of our democracy and the future of uh, self-government. And I think uh, between the private sector and the public sector, we have wreaked uh, untold havoc on the media environment, and I hope we can have an opportunity to talk about that this morning. And then finally, I'll uh, uh, just say I think we have managed to open up the FCC a little bit more so that we're reaching out to stakeholders who don't traditionally have that lawyer or the lobbyist or the fancy package briefs to bring to the FCC. We're actually going out and listening to minorities more than we did to uh, disabilities communities, to Native Americans. And if this is going to be a consumer protection agency, which is supposed to be, you have to always keep working on that. None of this de-emphasizes the excessive clout that big corporations and big money wield in Washington right now. I'm saying we're doing a little bit better, but we've still got a long, long way to go. Well, uh, Commissioner Copps, on the uh, issue of universal broadband policy, uh, why is it that this country has fallen behind when it comes to, uh, compared to many other countries in the world, in terms of citizen access, not only to broadband, but to high-speed uh, broadband? We forgot how we built America. Uh, we always, when we built infrastructure in the past, had the public sector and the private sector working together. The private sector as the lead economic engine, uh, pulling the locomotive, but heading toward a vision, heading toward a national goal when we were building those railroads and becoming a continental power and building the interstate uh, uh, highway system. And then we got off on this tangent beginning in the uh, uh, 80s that the market would uh, solve all of these problems. You didn't need government. You didn't need uh, a vision. So we went from being first or second in broadband in 2001 when I joined the uh, Federal Communications Commission to now 15th, 20th, 24th. I don't know precisely where. It depends on whose ratings you read, but I know uh, wherever we are, it's down there where your country and mine should never be finding itself. Well, what about so you that? have to have a strategy. We didn't have a, we didn't have the, the strategy and, uh, and and a sense of mission. Even now, although the commission has reformed universal service, which is the system that subsidized telephones for rural areas and, and low income uh, areas, we've got to see this not as a problem that jiggering with the universal service system can can resolve. This has to be a national vision. Somebody has to say this stuff is really important to the future of the United States of America. If we're going to create jobs, become competitive in the world economy, create opportunity for all of our citizens. What about that? I don't know if people in the United States understand the level to which in countries throughout Europe and uh, in Asia as well, there is universal access to broadband. It's sort of like right. being able to go to a public school. But right. in this country, um, the large swaths of the country that uh, don't have access to this, that it's a, a holy issue of private enterprise and who can afford to right. get online. Right. Well, it's a two-pronged uh, problem. It's a question of deployment and getting, uh, getting the connections out there wireline, wireless, uh, fiber, what it is. And also, it's a question of adoption. People need to understand how important this is. I am a strong proponent that one of our national priorities needs to be digital or media or news literacy, call it whatever you want, educating all of us, particularly the young children. Uh, I'd like to see a K-12 through uh, digital literacy, media literacy uh, program where uh, you teach folks not only how to use this stuff for their own advancement, but also what to look out for and what to trust and what's a trustworthy news site, what's a reliable one, what's news, what's opinion, what's fact, what's uh, rumor. So media literacy uh, is high on the, on the list of our national needs so people can really understand how important this is. If they're going to find a job, you don't find a job anymore by stuffing your uh, resume in an envelope and sending it off to a Fortune 500 company. They won't even look at it. They hire only uh, uh, online when they hire. Well, uh, Commissioner Copps, I'd like to ask you about another aspect of the same broadband issue, which is wireless. One of the, the last uh, the decisions or cases that you were involved with was the uh, T-Mobile, uh, AT&T, uh, 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 the AT&T's attempt to uh, uh, merge with uh, T-Mobile, and uh, the increasing importance of wireless smartphones uh, in terms of how people get their information and their data and uh, the issue of whether uh, 
whether internet freedom or what people call net neutrality will be preserved uh, in wireless communications? Well, I certainly hope so. That was one of the shortfalls when the Commission uh, addressed network neutrality that uh, uh, the majority concluded that it was uh, uh, a different technology and, and was not ready to have those rules applied to it. I disagree strongly with that. Every day, thousands and thousands of people are disconnecting the landline and going uh, uh, wireless. A huge part of the future of the broadband Internet is going to be uh, uh, wireless. So we need, you know, we need to be technology neutral. We need to be working with fiber where, where fiber is appropriate, uh, with uh, wireline, with satellite in those places where it is. But we need to realize that you have to have rules of the road. And I think wireless is far, uh, far uh, enough along where it should be expected to be open access, internet freedom. Otherwise, we'll have the, <laughs> the wireless network built out and it'll be exempt from all of these rules and you'll end up with. Uh, toll booths and gatekeepers, and you will have uh, uh, badly uh, beaten down the whole historic potential of the Internet to improve our lives. Michael Copps, we're going to break.